Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a little different. I want to give you a little update on what I've been working on lately and what's coming next for my Studio One projects in 2025. So let's dive right in. At the end of 2024, I launched a brand new website, studioneforum.com. As you might know, Presonus closed the official Presonus Forum in November 2024. And as someone who grew up with forums and was very active in the old Studio One Forum, I thought we needed at least one dedicated space for Studio One and Presonus users who are into forums. That's why I started the Studio One User Forum an unofficial community for Studio One users and everyone who seeks help in all things Studio One and Presonus products. We're using a modern forum software with lots of features, a powerful search function, and some special tweaks just for Studio One users. You can link to your songs and productions made with Studio One and get feedback from fellow Studio One users. And although it's an unofficial forum, when a new Studio One update drops, it's the place where you'll find the official release notes, all the latest information and user discussions first, all in one place. The community is growing pretty fast. We already have over 1,100 users, including some familiar faces from the Studio One world. I know our forums had their prime time about 20 years ago, but I still think there are very good reasons for forums today, especially when it comes to deeper discussions and more complex topics. And hey, audio and music can be really complex sometimes, right? So if forums are your thing, come and take a look. About two months ago, I also started my Instagram channel, Studio One Toolbox. There, I post short tips regularly, sometimes short versions of my longer tutorials, sometimes completely new ones, and even a few Studio One secrets from when I worked as a software developer on Studio One. But you know how it goes. To really grow this channel, I need your help. If you're on Instagram, please do me a favor and follow Studio One Toolbox and let me know in the comments what kind of content you'd like to see. I plan to share more behind the scenes looks at how I develop my Studio One add ons and websites or features that I'm working on. But it only makes sense if enough people are watching. So if you like to do me a favor, Please follow my Studio One Toolbox channel on Instagram. Last year, 2024 was a really big milestone for me. I released my Studio One add on Harmony Wizard, a project I had worked on for more than two years. And honestly, I was completely blown away by all the good feedback, the comments, the many ideas and feature requests, and all the kind words. I got emails from people telling me that Harmony Wizard helped them understand chords better all that it finally gave them the inspiration to finish a track. That's honestly the best thing I could have hoped for, because that's exactly why I made Harmony Wizard. So to everyone who supported Harmony Wizard, shared their feedback, or simply took the time to try it. Thank you so much. Right now, I'm in the very final stages of my next big release, Scoring Tools for Studio One 2.0. Some of you might know the original scoring tools. It's been around for about three years, but this update is really huge. It's going to bring some brand new features like track tags for better song organization. So you can add tags to your tracks and then search or filter using these tags. There will be a track navigator that helps you find tracks faster, new track visibility tools to only show the tracks you need, multi-midi track workflow improvements, that's useful for strings, brass, or any multi-part arrangements. I've been using these functions all the time for a recent trailer project. I'm really excited about this release. I don't have a final release date yet, but I'll be posting sneak peeks on Instagram and there might even be a giveaway when it launches. I'm currently working on the online manual for scoring tools and I want it to actually be helpful, not just something that exists because it has to. If you already have a previous version of Scoring Tools and if you want to try the current beta version of version 2 or if you're just curious about the add-on, then you can find it in the Studio One script section of our forum. Links in the description. And in the next half year, there's another completely new Studio One product coming. 
The name isn't final yet, but this one will focus on the arrangement window, tracks, events, markers, arranger sections and the mixer. So stay tuned, I'll let you know more as soon as there's something to share. So yeah, those are my current Studio One projects in 2025, at least the ones that I can talk about. Of course, there are also a few secret plans in the works that I can't share just yet. I hope you enjoyed this little overview. If you're interested in any of these projects, the Studio One forum, the Instagram channel, or my Studio One scripts, check out the links below. Thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.